this video, I'm going to tell you the difference between Achatina marginata ovum and Achatina marginata naturalis, AMO and AMS. And also, I'm going to tell you the similarity between the two species. So, without wasting most of your time, let me first let me first tell you the similarity between the two species. So, both are Achatina. Both are Achatina. They are both viable for commercial purpose. So, you can rear both species for commercial purpose. That's the first similarity. Another similarity is the rate of egg production. The rate at which both of them are producing egg. So, both of them comes egg, they lay egg in clusters. Both of them lay egg in units. Another similarity is that both of these new species can produce four egg. They can lay egg, four egg per clutch. They can lay five egg per clutch. They can lay six egg per clutch. They can lay seven, eight, nine, ten egg per clutch. So, so another similarity between the two is that they have bunch shape. So let's go back to advantages of Achatina marginata suturalis. So the advantages of Achatina marginata suturalis offer Achatina marginata often. So the practical illustration. So when you watch this name very well. So the first thing to identify Achatina suturalis is that when you check their bottom, yeah, this place I'm touching, they have pink color. See, this place I'm touching, they have this bottom, they have pink color. So another place to identify Achatina marginata suturalis is that when you check this, this place, pink color. So, that is another way to identify Achatina. Achatina, some people, some snake farmers, they said this snake, this species produce more egg, more than Achatina marginata ovum. Achatina marginata ovum. So, they produce more egg than Achatina marginata ovum. But their growth rate is very low. So their growth rate is very low compared to Achatina marginata ovum. So they produce more egg than Achatina marginata than Achatina marginata ovum. So that's the the only advantage they have over Achatina marginata ovum. They produce more egg. So, that's the differences between Achatina marginata saturalis and Achatina marginata ovum. So, how to identify Achatina marginata ovum? So, this is Achatina marginata ovum. So, if you check the bottom, this, this place I'm touching, it is whitish, not like that of Achatina marginata suturalis. suturalis. So this one is, you can say it's white or brownish in color. So it is brownish in color or whitish or white. So this is another way to identify Achatina marginata ovum. So the tip, this bottle I'm holding is brownish, is whitish. So you also check, you also check this place also. So if you check the amount here also, this place also, it is also brownish. So it is also brownish. So it is also white, or you call it brownish. So that's another differences between between Atatina ovum and Atatina suturalis. So you can call it. It resemble white or brownish so that's another advantages so of atatina marginata ovum so another advantages of this atatina marginata ovum is that they grow faster they grow faster 
when this Argentina sutralis, when the when your head has asked to newly ask me for this Argentina marginata sutralis, and the newly asked me for this Argentina marginata oven. So the rate, the growth rate. So the Argentina marginata oven, it grow faster. They are grow, they grow faster than this Argentina marginata sutralis. So and then when it comes to their jumbo size, at jumbo size, this this uh, Atatina Marginata oven, so also bigger. They are bigger than the this Atatina Marginata Sutralis. So they grow faster. They are huge. They are so huge. Can you see them now? Both of them, they are of the same age. See this one? Atatina Marginata Sutralis. They are of the same age with this Atatina Marginata oven. Can you see the difference now? That's how they are huge. They are also huge. They are so rugged. So, another advantages of this Atatina oven is that when it comes to ruggedness, so this Atatina marginata oven, they are more rugged to resist different types of diseases or anything. So they are they are so rugged, they don't die easily compared to this Atatina marginata sutralis. So, so that is the difference and the advantages that Atatina marginata oven have over Atatina marginata sutralis. So, but both of them are good for for commercial purpose. So both of these species are good. So they are good for commercial purpose. So, but to choose which one is the best species. As far as Albaica snail farm is concerned, I will choose this Achatina marginata oven. But if you have the space, so you can rear both species. So both of both species are good. So but for me, I prefer this Achatina marginata oven because any species that you are rearing, either Achatina marginata sutralis or Achatina marginata oven, you will develop passion with it. As time goes on so don't forget to like this channel subscribe to this channel share this content for others to benefit and also on your notification bell always on your notification bell so that when i release my next video you can get notified welcome to alibarica snake and you are chatting in the culture disney professor thank you for watching